You are listening to The Michael Lodge Show. Wealth, business, and taxes. Oh, yeah, and some politics. Let's get started. And good morning. This is Mike Lodge. Uh, Listen, in just a few minutes, about an hour from now, the United States Senate is going to sit down and they're going to vote on this infrastructure package bill and also the budget. Now, I'm going to have to tell every one of you senators and members of Congress, if you're going to vote for this bill, we're going to hold you accountable. This bill is not an infrastructure bill. It does not pay attention to what the needs are for the American people. But instead, you're playing a a whole bunch of political games, and I'm tired of it. You included in this bill a mileage tax on our vehicles. You have included taxation on Bitcoin and crypto and all those other stuff. You have mixed a bill that is supposed to be about infrastructure and you've mixed in the taxation. If, you, if you're going to push this bill and if you're going to vote for it, let me tell you, we, the American people will hold you accountable for this kind of wasteful spending and this kind of political antics that you're playing. We cannot afford any more taxes. We cannot... We cannot experiment with the financial well-being of the American people. You know how many individuals are going to be hurt by all of these tax increases that you are trying to sneak in. I don't believe in sneaky people. If you're going to sit there and if you're going to not not focus on infrastructure and what is needed by the American people, you do not deserve to be in office. And I will tell you, I will fight you tooth and nail if you vote yes on this on this package. This is ridiculous. Do you not get it that the American people at this time are expecting good things from from the Senate to help us? If you look at the middle class, you have literally destroyed the middle class. And maybe that's your whole point. You want to destroy the middle class so there's only the super wealthy and there is the super poor. Because I tell you, I'm middle class and I am having a struggle. But you don't care. I qualified for none of those PPP stuff that you put out. I I didn't even qualify any for any unemployment that you put out. When I was barely trying to make it every single month and withdrawing from my savings to survive... But yet now you want to attack me again and raise my taxes through a mileage tax. You are absolutely stupid. If you do not focus on on what is important to the American people, then you should not be in office. If you are going to vote for this bill, you should not be in office because now you're playing politics and you're not playing for the good of the American people. Now, I understand you're a politician and you're sneaky and you're wimpy and you fold as soon as somebody starts threatening you. And instead of listening to the American people, you listen to your party. You listen to... If I don't vote for something, I might lose my power. Well, you're going to lose your power because you're going to be voted out of office. You cannot vote on these kind of spending bills that are literally not not, not doing anything for the American people. Not one of you, and I've asked you several times, show me line by line what you're spending this money on, and you will not do it. And I bet you that the majority of you have not even read the freaking bill. So this is an important thing. You are willing to spend one trillion, three trillion dollars on something that has nothing to do with the American people. But instead you played your political tricks and your political maneuvering with all of these special interest groups out there, but you have forgotten about the American people and what they need. They do not need this infrastructure bill because there's nothing in there that pertains to infrastructure. Zero, except for raising taxes. On vehicles. As we drive trying to get to work, you want to charge us a tax for that mileage tax to get from here to there to there to there. How are you even going to report this stupid stuff? I tell you, I have, I have, I am fed up with government. The way that I have seen you work over the last few years, you have miserably destroyed the faith of the American people in our democracy. Not one of you went to your district and said, should I vote for this bill? And all of them were, all of your consistency 
would constituency would say, no, this is not a bill about infrastructure. This is a bill about political play. And the American people are getting tired of seeing the Senate and the Congress play these roles and threaten each other and do all this other stuff, but you can't even put together an infrastructure bill that's going to fix our roads and our highways and our 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 power grids and everything else that has to do with infrastructure. Instead, you want to, you want to create a mileage tax on the American people. Do you know how much we are taxed now? We have taxes coming out of our payroll. We have taxes coming out of our personal income tax returns. We have taxes coming out of our sales and use tax. We have taxes coming out of our payroll tax. I mean, out of our property taxes. We have county taxes. We have uh, gas taxes. We have gases being a. Ta- we have taxes being a tax against the American people on a daily basis, and you want to keep doing it more. I'm sorry, but you senators, if you're going to vote on this 10 o'clock bill, you're stupid. And if you vote yes for this. I'm telling you, you are going to be in the in the sights of the American people because they have had it with this. This taxing bit in an infrastructure bill. This is what you did with the transportation bill a long time ago. You put this transportation bill that was supposed to help the, the transportation industry. And what did you do? You snuck in a bill in there so that if anybody had a foreign bank account, it became a crime. You sneak these things in there and it it hurts the hurts the American people. They're even afraid to help their their family abroad because they're afraid that the government is going to attack them. You have become so entrenched in our lives and everything that we do that it has hurt the American people every single day it hurts them greater and greater. But you don't care. Because it's all about your power. Who is going to be in control? Who's going to be on what committee and who's going to have the most power? That's all that you focus on, but you never focus on the American people. You see, you go back to your districts and you make all of these promises of how good you're going to be to the American people because you are focused on them when it's a complete lie because all that you are focused on is your power. Once you get to Washington, D.C. and you get into that nice fancy office and all that staff and all that security and all of the red carpet treatment that you receive, you forget totally about the American people because it's all about your power. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, if you vote for this bill, you're going to feel the power of the American people because we have still have the power of the vote. And that vote is going to be pointed strictly at you, straight at you. You have a target on your back. Because if you vote for this bill, you're voting against the American people and not for the American people. Take the infrastructure bill off the table and start all over. If you want to focus on our grid, our power grids, if you want to focus on our highways and byways and, the, and our bridges and everything else that, that need to be repaired, if you want to focus on internet, which is part of our infrastructure because it controls a lot of the power grids and everything else. Focus on those things that matter to the American people. But if you're going to start putting in their nonsense bills that is going to tax the American people even more, then you've just lost, lost the respect of the American people. This is nonsense. Listen, if you like my content in my in my blogs and podcasts and everything else, help me out by supporting me at www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. I greatly need your help. And if you have any questions on business and taxation and mediation, send me a, 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 a an email and I'll answer every single one. And you send it to mediator at lodge, L-O-D-G-E dash C-O dot com. This is Mike Lodge. Everybody go and have a great day. Listen, senators and members of Congress, the American people are watching you and we're holding you responsibility. This podcast is produced by Michael Lodge, fully focused on content.